y1 equals x squared plus x plus b, and y2 equals cx minus x squared have a common tangent at 1, 0 for a choice of the constants a, b, c. Find a solution and sketch your solution. First, let's think. This is a concave up parabola. This is a concave down parabola. We know that because this second degree polynomial, second order polynomial, leading coefficient is positive here, leading coefficient is negative here. So they both have a common tangent at 1, 0, which means that uh, the tangent lines both go through the point 1, 0. So it's a point on this parabola, and it's a point somewhere on this parabola. And where that point is, the two parabolas must have the same slope. So the point 1, 0 must satisfy this equation and this equation for the choice of ABC. And the slopes of these two tangent lines must be the same. So if we look at these conditions in turn, the first condition says that this point 1, 0 satisfies both these equations. So for example, in the y1 equation, you would have 0 is equal to y1 is 1 squared plus a plus b. So this is plugging in x equals 1 into this equation, set it equal to y. Notice this gives us a relationship, a plus b equals minus 1. Then in the y2 equation, a similar type of condition holds, 0 equals y2 equals c uh, times 1 minus x squared, which is just 1 squared, which is 1. So then we get right away another relationship, c equals 1, and uh, one of our constants is found. Then we have to find another relationship, because we have three unknowns, so we need three equations at least in order to find a, b, and c. So uh, the other condition we know is that y1 and y2 have the same slope at this point. So that means that y1 prime equals y2 prime at 1, 0. This prime is differentiation with respect to x. So y1 prime is 2x plus a, and y2 prime is c minus 2x. And then this must hold particularly at x equals to 1. So 2 plus a equals c minus 2. Bring this 2 to this side and a to this side. 4 is equal to c minus a. Then we know c, so we put it in here. 4 is equal to 1 minus a. Bring a to this side and the minus 4 to this side. a equals minus 3. So we know a now. So we have a and we have c. Now we can find b from this equation. This relationship right here and this one right here tells us that a plus b equals minus 1. So minus 3 plus b equal minus 1. Bring this to this side. b is equal to 2. Now we know a, b, and c. So we have our two equations. y1 equals x squared minus 3x plus 2. And y2 equals x minus x squared. We want to draw a sketch of these two lines, these two parabolas. So it uh, would help to factor so we can find the roots. So we have x minus 2, x minus 1, which when you first outside, first, outside, inside, last, gives you that, foil. And here you have y2 is x times 1 minus x. So we'll draw our Cartesian plane, x, y. And then both of these parabolas go through the point 1, 0. So let's mark that point. Now this parabola has roots at 1 and 2, and it is upward facing. And then if we put in x equals 0, we get 2 on this axis. This would be a little bit tricky to draw, but uh, just do my best here. Maybe something like this. Right, so that's y1. And then y2 has roots at the origin of coordinates and at x equals 0. So this one, something like this. Okay, so that's y2. And then they share a common tangent line at this point. So maybe something like this, but before I draw it in, Let's find the equation of that tangent line. So the general equation of a tangent line will be y minus y naught equals m x minus x naught. In this case, m is given by f prime at x naught. So in this case, our point x naught y naught is given uh, by 1, 0. So here we have y minus 0 equals, now we have to find the derivative 
uh, by using either one of these two derivatives, y1 and y2, at, uh, at 1, 0. So let's just take the derivative of this one. So we have y1 prime is equal to 2x minus 3, evaluated at x equals uh, 1 is equal to minus 1. So this is our, our slope here, y1 prime is equal to minus 1, so minus 1 x uh, minus 1. So we get y tangent line is equal to minus x plus 1. So the y-intercept is 1, this is 2 here, so this 1 here, and the slope is minus 1, goes through this point, so something like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and recap this problem, take a look at what we did and how we figured it out. So in this problem, we had uh, three unknown constants, a, b, and c, and we know that this is a parabola that's concave up, and this is a parabola that's concave down, because this one has a leading order coefficient that's positive, so it's got to be concave up. This one has a leading order coefficient that's negative, so it has to be concave down. Then they have a common tangent line at 1, 0 for a choice of the constants a, b, and c. So we have basically two conditions that must be satisfied. Since they share a common tangent line at this point, 1, 0, both y1 and y2 must go through since they share a common tangent line at 1, 0, 1, 0 must be a solution to both of these parabolas. So that's our condition 1. The second condition is that y1 and y2 have to have the same slope at 1, 0, which means that their derivatives evaluated at 1, 0 must be the same. So we take 1, 0 and we plug it in to both parabolas, and this gives us two conditions. The first condition is a relation between a and b, a plus b equals negative 1. The second actually gives us the value of c. Then by setting the derivatives equal, we find this relationship, 2x plus a, by differentiating this with respect to x, and c minus 2x, differentiating this with respect to x, must be equal at x equals 1. So this line right here means, like, evaluated at x equals 1. So they must have the same slope. Now that only gives us another relationship between a and c, but we know c is 1, so we plug that in here, and that allows us to find a equals negative 3, and then taking a equals negative 3, we plug it into this equation here to get b equals 2. So we found a, b, and c, and then we plug these three constants into these two parabolas, and that gives us these two equations for the two parabolas. Now basically, we wanted to draw a sketch of this parabola y1, which is this parabola right here. And to do that, we needed to find the roots. So we factored it to find the roots, which are at 1 and 2. These are the zeros of the parabola. Because it's upward facing, we take that together with plugging in this point here, x equals 0, to find the y-intercept. And then we have three points which determine a parabola, so we can draw that parabola. Then we want to draw a sketch of this parabola, y2, so we factor it, and then we have roots at 0 and at 1, so those roots, 0 and 1, and then we know it's a downward facing parabola, and the y-intercept equal the x-intercept equals 0, so that's our sketch. Finally, the equation of the tangent line, which is shown here, y tangent line minus x plus 1. To find this tangent line, we took uh, the derivative of y1 evaluate at x equals 1. We could have also taken the derivative of y2 at x equals 1, and we would have got the same, the slope y equals negative 1. So we plug this value for the slope into the equation of the tangent line, and then we plot it using the y equals mx plus b form, and that was this pink line here. So we basically have a family of tangent lines to the blue curve, y1, that look like this. And we have another family of tangent lines for the yellow curve that look like this. But at 1, 0, they share a common tangent line. So this line is tangent to both y1 and y2 at 1, 0. And it is a unique solution in this case.
So that's our problem. And this is a sketch of the solution to the problem.